scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever Philippians stature 1, that Christ wants you Apostle to Apostle Paul was speaking Thank over you. the church in Philippi and he said, Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart in as much as both in my bonds. He says, and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, he says, ye are part partakers of my grace you know what it means to be a partaker a partaker is not the original recipient but the partaker benefits as much as the original recipient you see that in the life of abraham and lot god called abraham alone the bible says and lot went with him genesis 12 when we get to genesis 13 everything abraham had lot also had you would not even know who was called and who now tapped but Lot made one mistake. He detached himself from Abraham and plunged into limitation until he found himself in Sodom. Numbers chapter 27, from 18 and 20. Numbers 27, we're about to pray. Numbers 27. And the Lord said unto Moses, please look up. It says, take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already, and lay your hands upon him is that in your bible we're reading to 20 and then it says set him before eliezer the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight verse 20 i like this i like this please read with me one to read thou shalt put some of what so honor is transferable he says they will not listen to him take some of your honor and put on him you may have heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another this thing you see right there is a grace if you don't have this grace no matter how sincere you are nobody will listen to you believe me when i tell you that there are many sincere people who cannot command influence over people because that grace for honor is not there deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 and joshua the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as they commanded Moses we're about to pray the next few minutes in this place we're going to allow the Holy Spirit to deposit something tangible upon our spirit just like pastor said it is true that our possibilities are defined by the graces that we carry upon our heads thou anointed my head with oil but it is my cup that runs over he does not anoint the cup you know what is on the cup by what is on your head I mean you know what is on your head by looking at what is on the cup there are many of you here you have prayed you have tarried you're coming to the final moments of your prayer and fasting listen more than the revelations and the intelligence you have received you must receive the engracing to now defend that which you are proposing to the world a witness without evidence will only be a failed one if you want to be a faithful witness then you need that word of witness but then with your evidence standing with you is someone ready to pray please rise up on your feet 
when it's time to pray i beseech you by the message of god that we pray that we pray with understanding i'd like you to thank the lord for the word you have heard several dimensions of truth communicated by his spirit go ahead and pray let it be from the depth of your heart Lord, I understand even clearer that I am a witness. There was a man sent from God. His name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness to the truth that men through him might believe. Someone is praying. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer point number two. Father, all it takes to make me an effective witness, may I receive it right now. Please go ahead and pray. All that it takes. Is it prosperity? Is it influence? Is it revelatory grace? All that is required for my effective witness to make my contributions as far as kingdom come is concerned, I obtain grace. Someone is praying. Shalege bakatos kaprande ge balatosia, embre kete balakatos shalege prende ge debele katos. I obtain grace. I obtain grace. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good because he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. God was with him. No man can do these things except God be with him. Someone pray. Now I'd like you to pray. Holy Spirit, reveal your ministry in my life in a greater dimension. You are the Lord of the harvest. You are the Spirit of truth. Reveal your ministry in my life afresh. Someone is praying. I open up my spirit man the impartation and the engracing that will make me relevant in your end time program I obtain grace someone is praying you are a man of God here pray Lord grace for the altar grace for the altar to communicate and dispense the truth of the kingdom with power and grace you are a businessman pray you are into fashion, pray. You are a media person, pray. A sport person, pray. A politician, pray. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. I'll 
Shada kato shala brande ge balato siata. Ah, shada shada shala balato siata. Yours is a kingdom. Yours is a power. Yours is a glory forever. Amen. Yours is a kingdom. Yours is a power. Before, listen please, before I pray for you, I want you to pray one prayer. Listen, do you know, there are many people today who are unable to do much for the kingdom simply because God has vetted them and he has found out that they do not have the staying power to still love him in the midst of plenty. They do not have the staying power to still love him in the midst of results. They do not have the staying power to love him as he announces them. So he will vet them and keep them in a certain position, not because he hates them, but that is the best position to allow their efficiency versus their love for him. You have to pray. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Many of us want to rise. Many of us want to command power and influence over nations and territories. This morning, my dear people um, from Zaria, they came to celebrate my birthday and they were going back and they did something as a gift. I don't know where they found it. Photos from when the ministry started, you know, when I was almost looking like a dead man, wearing all kinds of things like two people's materials on myself. And they gathered all those things together and put it in an album up until I think few weeks ago I don't know how they did that and as I opened it tears filled my eyes and I could almost with every turn of the page I could remember things God told me in those seasons and those levels can I tell you if God has discerned you will disappoint him and you will be a casualty to the body it's not Satan he himself will beg your growth as a sign of his love because your soul is more important to him than your fame your soul is more important to him than your result you are going to pray one prayer lord grace to stay and remain with you the grace to stay and to remain someone please pray the grace to stay and to remain the grace to stay and to remain Someone pray. Hallelujah. Let me show you a scripture. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 12. We are still praying. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 12. Do not forget this scripture. One day the Lord showed me in the place of prayer. I'd like you to please read. One to read. So the Lord alone did lead them and there was no strange God with him. It is possible to carry God and something else like Rachel did. In the Bible, remember Rachel, the wife of Jacob, when it was time for her to go, she took some of the gods of her father to go with her. There are people who carry God and something else. If he must be God all by himself in your life, then you must have the unashamedness to destroy every other thing. So the Lord alone did lead him and there was no strange God with him. Is someone still ready to pray? Father, I dethrone everything that has taken your place in my life. I declare a, a fresh recommittal. Please pray. A fresh recommittal. For some of you, you have exalted men more than God. Some of you, you have exalted money more than God. Some of you have exalted preaching more than God. You have exalted ministry. You have exalted marriage, business, money. You have exalted fame. God is calling you to return to the altar. Please pray. If you must see his glory, he said, sanctify yourselves. 
that was the instruction he gave Moses to give them you want to see my Shekinah and my glory sanctify yourself pray it's all about you Jesus you know the song for your glory it's not about me as if you should do things my way, you alone are God, and I surrender. One more time. It's all about you. Jesus, and all this is for you. It's for your glory and your faith. It's not about me. If you should do things my way, you alone and One more time, from the depth of your heart, it's all about you. the gravity of that statement that if you will let men see me if you can hide behind the cross and allow not even fame or some of these mundane things that distract people to stop men from seeing me everybody look at this my bible is not resting on the base what is really carrying my bible is this part is that true however because these rods have donated themselves to hold this as you see this you also see them are you getting what i'm trying to say this is jesus christ lifted up but it is impossible to look at him and not see the one lifting him most people do not allow jesus to be lifted in their lives because they feel exalting him will so diminish you John the Baptist did not say that I would diminish or disappear. He says that I will decrease, that you might increase. So that when people look at me, their focus will not be on me. Somewhere in their minds, they will thank God for me. Like Galatians 1.24 says, And they glorified God in me. But more than that, they'll see you. I am lifted up. You are shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love. We sing holy, holy, holy. We'll see you high and lifted up. My first prayer tonight is for those who are directly called into the fivefold ministry. Listen, we need to trust God to eradicate weakness on the pulpit. 
I submit to you there is a lot of powerlessness on the pulpit I'm not talking of Pentecostal jamboree and gibberish authentic spiritual power that sustains the ability to both bless and lift people to the place of destiny you cannot be an effective man of God and lack the requisite level of spiritual power it is impossible so my prayer there are many people here I know and I presume that have been called into the ministry God has called you men and women alike missionaries pastors prophets and yet that increasing Luke 1 I believe and verse 45 I hope I'm right on that he said how shall these things be seen that I know not a man and then he says the power of the highest shall overshadow you how shall I suddenly step into an effective ministry the power of the highest how shall I now begin to teach with power and fire the power of the highest will overshadow you do not downplay the ministry of power especially in this end time can I pray for you you are in ministry I like you to pray and say Lord empower me in a very supernatural way empower me in a very supernatural way empower me hallelujah I'm going to pray for people this please tap this gentleman for me come I want to pray for you the Lord has heard your cry and I want you to believe that what God will do in your life don't belittle yourself I am telling you this God has a mighty plan for you and his hand is strong upon your life even in this season can I pray for you father I lay my hands upon your dear son in the name of Jesus empower him afresh let a strong I'm stretching my hands on this person and I'm seeing is somebody else in the congregation the power of God is coming on please bring them out this is what I'm seeing I'm laying my hands on him Yet I'm seeing light touching somebody within the congregation. I'll begin to pray about that one person within the congregation. And listen, it's a call of God. You have been seeing this in your dreams. You've not really started, I wouldn't say you've started ministry fully. But that hand and that call is upon you. Please, as the anointing of the Spirit comes upon that man, I want to have him outside. I want to pray for him. But for this gentleman, in the name of Jesus, I declare, let it be a new season for you right now even by the power of the Holy Spirit you will experience the grace of God in supernatural dimensions now I want to pray please help them Jesus whether you are an usher or not please do well just help them so they don't injure themselves just bring them out slowly I want to activate the prophetic I truly believe in the ministry of the prophetic is one of the most corrupted ministries of the fivefold unfortunately but it does not mean that simply because the prophetic has been corrupted it should be thrown away men and women together there are many of you that grace has been crying in your spirit ah this grace is coming on people now father i release that grace right now i find the ambers of the prophetic men and women all those who must step into that ministry receive that grace now help them please receive that grace now take that grace please bring them out i release you upon you let that anointing and that mantle accurate prophetic void of divination void of manipulation in the name of jesus christ not tampered by flesh one of you in this choir one of the ladies here i'm seeing the power of god coming on you help her please in the name of jesus christ please bring them in the name of jesus accurate prophetic void of manipulation god is raising mighty people with that grace even in this church
Shane de Kapara to Kashiba Likata, Embrati Kapos. There is a gentleman who will start running now. Please hold him and bring him out. The power of God is coming upon him. This is this is a ministerial anointing. It's helping, please. A strong ministerial anointing. There are kings. There are kingdoms. There are mountains and there are thrones. Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no Lord is showing me a mantle for restoration I'm seeing the number seven there are some of you who have lost things and you are asking will it ever return back right now the anointing is coming on you some of you are already in front here father I don't know where they are Manish Kadi Kabarata Ziata Ele Breke help them please my God let there be a restoration let there be a restoration of virtues restoration of dimensions you want touch you want touch in the spirit restoration of resources like the hair of samson some of you it is growing back again the eyes that see the ears that hear mighty things that were once done through your life in the name of Jesus supernatural restoration I release upon you I release upon your family actually a grace for wealth that beyond productivity and value beyond the ability to exchange value for a reward there is a real grace for wealth I'm about to pray for you because someone in this place this is why you came for this meeting and this thing must come look some of you have come from backgrounds and families where at the normal sequence if you are to follow the normal sequence of growth financially you may spend your lifetime and never be empowered however there is an advantage we have in this kingdom i want to pray please receive some of you have been called to be financial apostles some of you have been called to carry to to bear the ark lord i don't know where they are but in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, those who will go up the mountain at the count of three, may this mantle fall on you. Some of you are pastors. Some of you are career people. Lord, the grace that will command territories to yield their increase. Receive it right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace, that anointing. 
sir that grace is coming on your wife i'm seeing that grace come on her lord i don't know what you are doing but do it oh god let let that supernatural mantle for finances supernatural grace for wealth in the name of jesus help this woman i'm seeing oil this woman wearing yellow that oil is resting upon her receive that grace right now by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah i want you to believe this because you will be surprised to see what god begins to do in your life who is kemi is there someone with the name kemi is it kemi or so i'm hearing a name Kemi, is there someone with that name? Just find somewhere to stand. I want to pray and speak over your life. What do you do, madam? Huh? I want to pray for you. Look at me, ma. Please stand up. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Hear what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. 2020 was not a good year for you. It was a year that you did not see the best but god is saying i am restoring you this is what i'm hearing in my spirit i stretch my hands and i declare in the name of jesus let that grace come upon you that makes for supernatural restoration in the name of jesus you are also kemi can i pray for you in the name of jesus i decree and declare madam look at me are you married father in the name of jesus every pattern negative pattern connected to your family in the name of jesus i come against it right now by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone on this row the power of god is coming upon you you are a lady i just saw this right now please i'd like you to bring the person for me In the name of Jesus if she's if she can't come don't worry just leave her there I will speak over her life I decree and declare ah, there are many of you this month of July coming I'm seeing an anointing on that month and I'm not I'm not speaking lightly the month of July this woman standing near you holding both of her hands I'm seeing oil coming on her head that's right the woman wearing blue in the name of Jesus she's one of these people that the month of July will speak greatly for I declare by the anointing of the spirit let that grace rest upon you I command July to open for you in the name of Jesus I command July to open for you I command July to open for you now hear me everywhere you are standing in one minute I like you to begin to mention everything that must leave your life now the Egyptian that you have seen I'm releasing my faith with your prophet please begin to pray right where you are I'd like you to declare I'm releasing my faith with you that in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God these Egyptians that you see today that you will see them no more forever Lord as you have done it for your servant my prophet you will do it for me hallelujah praise the lord now i just sense in my heart I, I don't know if i should do this but as i as i raised that prayer request i just had the cry of a baby i just help them please i just had the cry of a baby this is what and the lord is telling me that this is a miracle that he's releasing for certain people lord i don't know where they are but in the name of Jesus, Masani There will be sounds of rejoicing in this church. Believe me when I tell you, there will be sounds of rejoicing. In the name of Jesus, as I hear in my spirit, so I declare. Let it be so and let it be established. Let it be so and let it be established. 
let it be so and let it be established let it be so and let it be established let it be so and let it be established in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me anyone holding what belongs to you and has not released it by the power of the prophetic in Luke chapter 18 the woman came to the judge who did not fear God nor regard man and say avenge me my adversary and the Bible says for a while he will not attend to her but for her importunity her continuous coming you have prayed in the name of Jesus I agree with you between now and the next 30 days by the power of the prophetic it must get into your hand it must get into your hand in the name of Jesus Christ and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death I need to rebuke that spirit that creeps around families and destinies and just destroys people sometimes at their prime father if there is any family here where the spirit of death is roaming around intending to lay hold on anyone by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus may death pass over you it shall not come near your dwelling the mark of the blood is upon you in the name of Jesus hear me please be sensitive to these prophetic words as I'm declaring them some of you have been in this city for many years yet the gates have not opened for you the truth is almost nothing is working you are in this city people will come and receive whether jobs open doors and it looks like nothing is happening the Lord put this in the heart of your man of God and I've come to join faith with him let's speak to these gates every gate can open it depends on who is speaking in the name of Jesus I decree and declare as touching the one who sent us lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye ancient doors I decree and declare the two lift gates of this city I declare that you part heater and teeter in the name of Jesus Christ be open for a triumphant entry in the name of Jesus Christ just because you are in a city does not mean the city is open for you no he said blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I've prayed concerning wealth but let me pray over favor please receive this one the proof of favor is not money no the proof of favor is when God gives you the hearts of men even the hearts of kings father in the name of Jesus you are able to help and bring favor upon men I declare by the mercies of God the one who helps men beginning from today all who are connected to this vision help her please and those who in the name of Jesus Christ are here who came for this prayer cruise and those who are connecting by way of internet in the name of Jesus the son of the living God receive that grace for favor now I declare that systems and structures shift for your sake receive that grace for favor it will speak in your finances it will speak in your family in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me we are getting to a most important part of this prayer we are wrapping up how many of you believe in this vision how many of you believe in this ministry how many of you know that God is able to stretch and enlarge the tent of this ministry we are going to pray the last time I came God opened my eyes and I did bring a prophetic word that God is expanding and enlarging this ministry and that God was going to give his servant and the wife visibility even within this land like never before I have not come with a different prophetic word it is still the same thing I have come with we are going to pray listen let me tell you God has placed an anointing upon this man God has placed a grace upon this man and there is a major role I am telling you that the man of God has to play in this city 
are touching the move of God and what God is doing. It's not because I'm standing on this platform. I am telling you the truth by the message of God. Now, in the next two to three minutes, you are going to pray for this ministry from the depth of your heart, the depth of your spirit. Lord, higher grounds. Lord, higher grounds. Lord, higher grounds. Enlarge the place of the twi of, of your dwelling. Spare not to the left and to the right. Are you praying? The members of this church pray. Pray for your vision. It is not your pastor's vision. It is your vision too. and his dear wife strengthen the family multiply the investment of your grace upon their lives are you praying pray for the pastors that stand and support him lord raise faithful men raise mighty men and women in the name of jesus the son of the living god strengthen him when he calls answer him hallelujah 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 praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord now hear me I'm the one asking you to do this and I've not spoken with him after this prayer let me let me give you a very powerful secret listen don't end this prayer and fasting period without hearing from God to find a strategic prophetic seed and so I'm not going to tell you what it doesn't have to be today but I'm teaching you a powerful secret when Peter the angel came to Cornelius speaking about Peter the encounter that will lead to the salvation of the Gentiles it says your prayer and your giving two things brought that intervention now when it has to do with seed sowing and sacrifices unfortunately I know that people have manipulated, they have made merchandise of the gospel, taking advantage of people. And some of you here probably maybe across your various spiritual concerns may have been victims of men of God and prophets and apostles. But don't think just because people have made merchandise of this, that does not mean this is a powerful principle. I would be wicked and be lying to you if I drop this mic and do not teach you this truth. I know that your man of God has taught you. Are we together? You do not end a strategic program like this without prophetically connecting with your seed. Psalm 50 verse 5, Gather my saints unto me, they who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And that includes those who are following online. Probably there are people who are following and want to connect you should find a way of reaching the ministry if there's a way they can put the authorized account number i don't know how it happens here but you know in you know back home our ministry anytime you make announcement like this scammers also here and up they go trying to manipulate people innocently and so on and so forth praise the name of the lord but let me challenge everyone here complete your fast not just with prayer but with a sacrifice is different from a seed it's easy to give ishmael but if it is isaac you have to give with grace hallelujah i can tell you strategic periods in my life as a man of god defining moments where certain realms came to a permanent close at the instance of a seed with understanding if you do it as a mere donation or do it as a name you are only wasting your time you will recycle pain but with understanding even the father wanting the harvest of us 
gave a sacrifice. Jesus was more than a seed. He was a sacrifice. He was his only begotten son. Now he has many sons that have been called into glory. And the thing about a seed is that the technology is that you reap what you sow. But believe me, you do not have to reap it in the form you sowed it. Meaning you can sow money and reap favor. You can sow money and reap speed. Because God connected another spiritual technology to sowing and reaping. That God is able to give your seed another body. So you can sow pain and not reap more pain. At the point of resurrection, God will change the body for pain to be joy. So you can now sing, he has turned my mourning into dancing. That he has turned even my sorrow into joy. Are we together? One of the ways you end negative seasons in your life is to sow them as seeds. Because the old heaven and the old earth can pass away with everything in it. So when you are tired of a season, you can wrap that season in a seed and sow it. That's why it is dangerous to steal money in church. Because you don't know whose season is coming to an end. And you don't allow that season to die. You pick it up like Gehazi together with the destruction that came with that season. Hallelujah. Every time you see money in church, it's more than naira and cobble and dollars and pounds. Those monies are trays carrying the pain of people, carrying yokes, carrying curses, carrying negative things that people are overturning through the mystery of death and resurrection. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me pray over your life in closing. Thank you. This is already past four. Father, I thank you for the honor and the privilege to have been able to share with your people, challenging them on your end time agenda. Thank you for the months and the months that have been invested in prayer. Thank you for all you have blessed and lifted. Thank you in the name of Jesus for your choice servant and his dear wife and all the pastors that stand to lift up the hands of the man of God. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood, be blessed in Jesus name. I decree and declare that everything that once was once a thing of shame and reproach, let it be rolled away from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ and every grave clothes that is on you like Lazarus, I decree and declare prophetically, I remove those grave clothes from you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, everything at work in your life that is inconsistent with the speakings of the word, I decree and declare, let it be cancelled right now. You will see the hand of God in your life. You will see the goodness of God in your life, spiritually, financially, in your home, your place of work, in the name of Jesus. And as for this ministry, you will only keep going from glory to glory, from grace to grace, from power to power. And I pray for everyone who attended this meeting today, you will be at the epicenter of God's program. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Now please listen, the Lord is putting it in my heart. Just two things to do, to make an altar call and then to just speak over people who may be trusting God for healing. I'll just do both in about a minute or two. Please spare me that time. If you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. I need Jesus. I need to rededicate my life or you are making a first decision. I know you have been standing. Please just endure for this one more minute and we're done. I believe with all my heart there are people here who are saying, Apostle, please give me an opportunity, whether online or here. And others are saying, I love Jesus, but I want to use this moment to rededicate my life. If you are here, even if it is only one person, the Lord has put it in my heart, let me give you an opportunity to come. Please, I'd like you to leave your seat and come and stand here if there is any such person. Don't sit back, don't be ashamed, and don't wait for someone to be the first to come. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I truly want to make my ways right. Is there someone like that? Please gallantly, I want you to walk and come here very quickly. Very quickly. God bless you if there is such person. Please come and stand here very quickly. I truly believe that there has to be at least one person. And if you are that one person, please come and stand. Don't be ashamed and don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Come to Jesus. Now, while that is happening, God bless you. Let them come and stand here.
God bless you as you come. Those who are trusting God for a healing miracle, I'd like you to please lay your hand uh, on that part. And if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please do just lay your hand on your chest. Those who are coming for the altar call, please do come quickly. I want to pray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for making this decision. Those who are making this decision online, Jesus is right where you are. And as I lead them to pray, please pray same. And the Lord himself is nigh on to all that call upon him. May I request, gentlemen, that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender high to the heavens and say after me convincingly so. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i believe in jesus as my savior and as my lord and as my king i receive eternal life into my spirit the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i walk in the newness of life in Jesus name I pray thank you Heavenly Father for these precious ones you have brought them to yourself keep them even by your spirit they go from strength to strength because they appear in Zion in Jesus name I pray amen and amen may I please request that you follow the gentleman waving his hands God bless you they'll have a word with you and then he will be back so let's do this quickly in the name of Jesus anyone here trusting God for healing you've heard a terminal illness whether you or anyone connected Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.